everyone welcome back so let us quickly understand so we have done the registration test case and we have executed this particular test case and registration has been successful right now usually in our uh, testing scenario when the registration or the same user has been registered we should be getting an error in the app if we try to re-register right so basically if i go ahead and try to execute this particular test case again i should be getting a error displayed that the user is registered already okay so let's see what happens so it is basically putting all the same details i haven't changed anything else right and here you will see was it you will see that username already exists message all right now this is our second test case okay so in case a username already exists and we are trying to re-register or put the same username again and try to register we should be getting this particular error message and once we get this error message this is basically one of the test scenario or test case that we want to validate that is this particular error message displayed correctly or not when the user tries to re-register himself or herself okay so how we can do it so basically we'll create another test case so what we'll do is i'll simply because all the steps are all same okay i'll quickly go ahead and copy this particular test okay and into e2e folder i'll again paste it and rename this okay so i'll rename this particular registration i'll say registration error or re-registration okay so i'll say re-registration and then change this to cy.js so that it is basically recognized right so this is how the test should be the register registration so now we know that if we go back here let me go back to the spec i should be able to see the re-registration test here as well okay and cypress app will automatically identify this because it keeps scanning this particular uh, cypress slash e2e folder which is configured by using this cypress.config.js right by default this is the location where cypress will scan and any new test case that you are going to add in here will get recognized right now in order to validate that particular error message what we need to do we need to basically go ahead so for example let me execute or let me go back uh, let me execute again re-registration i have copied it and uh, currently the step is only up to the registration part right okay so let me go back here so now in order to validate that this particular error exists first what i have to do is i have to get the locator where exactly this particular or what is the locator what web element where this particular message is displayed right so i can go ahead with the cypress locator directly and then go ahead and see what is the locator for this but then you know that this is not working right so with the cypress locator this is not working so we need to basically analyze it or find or write our own css selector so i'll right click directly here and i'll say inspect and it will open the dev console there okay and if i go ahead and select this particular locator okay so i click on this icon and i simply select this area where this message is displayed i can see that this is the tag span okay you see this is the span tag which has this particular id right so i can say okay in order to write the css selector for it I can say okay span tag and then which has the id okay so if i say the tag is span so i can write, write span all right and then it has the id okay so i'll say id and the id is customer username errors okay so i'll put it in the single quotes and close it right so you'll see this particular area is highlighted where this message will get displayed so this is my css selector which i have written right and then we'll go ahead and add it here in the script okay so now we know that when the user will try to re-register with the same details okay then in this particular area which area the locator that we have identified okay so i'll say cy.get and then in double quotes i'll put that locator okay so this will basically identify that particular web element and then what i want to check i want to check that this particular locator or the area contains something right contains text right so there should be something you know which says contains okay so you'll see there is a method contains and what this contains does is it will get the dom element containing the text right so dom elements can contain more than the desired text and still match so this is basically this should be fine to check the presence of something presence of the text within that particular locator which is identified by this so this is the span in which i am going to check some text what text so content i can put the string okay so it, it accepts the string so i can 
go ahead and put the string in there so i'll just say in the quotes what is the error that gets displayed the user the username already exists so I'll let me copy it close this. and then i'll simply copy this particular user uh, the message okay the username already exists and i'll go ahead and paste okay so now when this particular test will execute it will basically go ahead and put all the details that are there for the existing user and then click on register again and then the last step will validate that the error message is displayed the area is displayed okay and the message is displayed as well the exact message that we are looking for should get displayed if there is some change here then the test should fail okay so now here uh, everywhere else i have used double quotes so let me change change it to double quotes here as well okay and then same thing here i'll put inside as a single quote and then outside as double all right so now i'll save it and you'll see that execution will again start we close this and just putting all the details clicked on register and then it should actually go ahead and validate right so you'll see that the last step here okay so if i go to this particular step you'll see that it has highlighted this particular area okay this username already exists and there is no failure okay and if i go here or a little further you'll see all the all the previous steps right so what exactly is happening at each okay now say for example i change the text so let's try to fail this particular test as well so say for example i am expecting something else all right okay so i have changed username already exists okay not the full thing let's see what happens it will try to re-execute and automatically as soon as you change anything in the script in vs code it will automatically execute it right so you'll see that still it passes okay so there is there is no failure as such that something has failed okay so why why does this happen because i'm using contains right so contains will check okay username already exists yeah obviously it exists this username already exists that is also true exist is there okay so it won't basically ensure that exact what exactly you are looking for right so you you say for example i am looking for that this should match this okay so in that particular case i should be having a test data which says expected is this and outcome is this and then match both all right only then you will be able to do the proper assertions right so you are expecting that at this area the error message should be this username already exists and then in your script you exactly pass that error message if there is any mismatch between expected and actual then your test should fail okay so let's see how you are going to do that so uh, what we are going to do so let's quickly go to the documentation here okay and you will see that on the doc cypress.io we know that cypress has built in chai assertion library so anything that we can do with the chai assertion library is possible here right so if you go to the contains you will see that with the contains there are many possibilities right so i can check the content i can check selector and the content and with different options okay so along with contains we can also have the assertions right so basically with the contains so if i say just assert okay so i will say assert okay and here you will see that trying to assert something right so i'm trying to get a particular locator then trying to assert with dot should keyword okay so dot should and then should have a value or should have tech or anything that chai assertion library supports we can use that so instead of saying dot contains we can have the assertion we'll say dot should and then in the quotes okay you have to make sure that there are quotes in between okay and then expect the actual text so that if there is any mismatch then we'll be having a failure okay so let's quickly do that change what we'll do now is we will instead of doing just contains we'll simply copy this whole thing okay copy it paste it and instead of contains i'll say dot should and then we know that should accept chainer basically so should be a uh, or have to right so we can simply then say have you'll see that how many details can you check should should have a property should uh, have all key all keys any key right so these many uh, details you can basically check so have html have id have length right so n number of possibilities you will see have string have text okay so i'll say have text and then comma separated what text you are expecting right so you just put that text here so instead of putting the text directly in the contains i'll say okay yeah because contains will check the existing existence of 
whether this particular substring is there or the full string is there or anything within that particular string exists, right? So that is why this particular step was passing. But when we say assertion, when we say assertion, then it will actually test that act exactly this particular, the text within this particular locator exactly matches to what I'm trying to assert here. Okay. So in this particular case, we will see a failure because this is not exactly what the text is displayed, right? So now let me comment this last line there. Okay. And now we are using dot should have text and I'll save it and then the execution will restart. Let's see what the outcome is. Let's click on the register, right? And now in the left hand side, you will see that there is a failure. Okay. So if I go and analyze the failure, okay, so you'll see that we can see the details. Why exactly the test failed? Assert fail, right? Expected something to have the text username already exist, but the text was something else. So whatever we passed in here, this is what we are trying to expect. This is the expected result, but the actual result that has been found by the script on the UI is this username already exists. Okay. So unless and until both match, which is the core concept of, you know, testing that you are matching the expected with the actual, then this particular assertion will fail. So this is how you are going to write the assertion. This is very basic assertion. We'll be writing a lot more, but then this is just to give you a, an idea of how you are going to write your test cases, right? So that all the actions with it did, then we also used should and then different uh, properties there. So we are checking the property of the tech of this particular locator to match something right now if i change it to the exact text this username or add this in front okay so let me add this now this should actually this particular test case this time should pass and should not throw any assertion error let's click down register okay and you will see that assert has passed okay it is green now and it is basically expected which is basically to have this text username which already is there and that is why you see a mess instead of the failure okay so this is briefly how we are going to write our first assertion within cypress and test it so let me remove this and this is this is our second test case apart from the registration okay and it is all working so that's all for this particular video in the next video we will understand a lot more concepts about cypress and then proceed on further with some more scenarios to auto that's all for this video thank you very much for watching